Hi, our topic on this episode is about pole ground testing. This is a sequel video after the pole grounding installation activity. After installing the pole grounding, we need to test whether the resistance value of the grounding rod meets the standards according to Globe Telecom Philippines standard. The resistance value of the grounding should be less than 25 ohms. These are the tools needed for this activity. Ground ohmmeter or tester, conductor rods, wrench, and hammer. Locate suitable test rods location. It should be 2 to 5 meters away from the grounding rod to be tested. Stab the first test rod to the ground with the aid of hammer. The test rod should reach 4 inches depth below the ground. Do the same for the second test rod. Remove messenger wire from bonding to the grounding rod. Use wrench to loosen the nuts. Attach the clamp of the first test probe to the first test rod. Insert test probes to the test equipment on through its corresponding port. On this case, the yellow test probe is the first rod. Green test probe is for the grounding rod. Attach the clamp of the second test probe to the second test rod. On this case, the test probe color is red. Insert the test probe on its appropriate port. Attach the clamp of the green test probe to the grounding rod. After setting the test probes, operate the resistance meter or ohmmeter. Set resistance range to 200 ohms value. Press start to initiate testing. As you can see, the resistance reading is 10.2 ohms. This reading passed the prescribed resistance value. Take note the test results and mark it as your first trial. One factor that affects the resistance value is the existing soil condition. Conduct another test by moving the test rod's position onto other location. Run the same test and note the value of the resistance. Mark the second test as the second trial. As you may see, the value of the resistance changed to 8.8 .8 ohms after the test. Put back the messenger wire and grounding clamp from its bonding. There is another type of grounding resistance meter that doesn't require test rods, which is the earth resistance clamp meter. This testing equipment is better than the other one showed earlier. This testing equipment doesn't need the messenger wire to be detached from its bonding to the grounding rod. On the test sheet form, write the pole tag and address location from where the grounding has been tested. If the resistance test result fails or exceeded 25 ohms reading, there are two possible solutions we can do to lower than the resistance reading. First option is to move the existing grounding rod position to a location wherein damp soil is present and rerun a longer messenger wire to reach the new rod position. Second solution is to install another grounding at least 1 meter away from the existing rod. The two rods will be connected in parallel with each other by a single messenger wire. I hope I was able to give knowledge with you regarding this outside plant related activity. Thank you for watching.